In the last video, we had just finished splicing the three-strand rope to the anchor chain, and we took off to dinner. So now it's time to finish that project up and pick up where we left off, which is going to be to trim the bitter end, finish it off with a whipping, and ultimately store the anchor line. So I'm now lining out the, uh, the rope. You can see here I've got all my chain that's been sitting on the deck for a while. I basically just have the line stretched all the way down the boat to the cockpit with enough of it there that it would take it all the way to the back of the boat. I got 51 feet on deck so I'm then I'm going to have just over 150 feet of this which is what I've marked out right to here, the blue mark. So now time to go ahead and cut this. What I'm going to do here is cut it right on this tape in hopes to uh, keep it from fraying on either side. This is a good sharp knife. It's pretty important doing this. Both ends. I'm just going to roll this one up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, whip the end of this line. So we're going to start with. Uh, more whipping twine, it's going to be a wax twine. So I just went ahead and cut off a length of this. It's important to get enough so that when I finish my whipping, my number of turns around this should be the same thickness as that. You want to start with the bitter end of the whipping twine right at the edge of the bitter end of the line and you go up about four inches on the line and you form a loop and then you leave the long end hanging out there. I'm going to start my whipping right about at the tape and I want to go the same diameter as that so I'm going to go to about here. So you see I got a pretty good sized loop here. I'm just going to hold that there for a minute and I'm going to start my wraps. So. Yeah. Not the easiest thing, so you want to you really get this started. I'm going to run a couple of tight loops around. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of keep running upward toward the loop end of this. I want to do it tight because I want this to be a good, strong fit. And because it's three-strand line, it's not quite as easy to get started as... Uh, like a double braid would be. You know, a lot of people like to have an alternating color for the whipping, which I can agree with. It makes it very easy to see what you've done. But this is actually going to be tied in the anchor locker, so I'm not too worried about the look. I'm more worried about the functionality and, honestly, to practice. You might do a couple loops and then have to come back and push them tight just to make sure there's no gaps between them like I just did there. So I'm just about to the thickness of the line. I'm going to go a couple of more wraps here. You want to apply pressure to this whole thing. The idea is you're wanting it to be good and good and tight. Really keep it from fraying once we cut this. What I'm going to do is, we're coming up on our loop here, what we want to do is take our line and pass it up through this loop. You want to pull the bitter end through here. Okay. I should have left this a little longer to be able to pull it, but I'm just going to use my needle nose here to give this a tug. What we want to do is basically cinch this knot down by pulling this here. You'll see 
you see how it cinched it down right there? And now we want to continue to pull it until the that cinch is halfway down through the through the whipping. Not so easy to see, so I'm gonna use my pliers here. And I can see where it is in there. So we now have a very strong whipping here. There's a lot of elaborate ways to do this. We could have sewn these or actually run it with some needles and pushed it right on through, but this is going to hold just fine. So if I'm now going to cut this line just maybe an eighth of an inch beyond my whipping. The reason I'm going to do that is I'm going to melt the end of this in a minute. whipping. Looks good, huh? Now with the whipping complete, it's now time to start putting the line down through the opening in the deck. So forgive the looks of this. I actually had a small light um, in the camera pointing into the chain locker and I went up top and I just dropped the bitter end of the line um, down through the deck. So yeah, it's as simple as connecting it to the stronghold in here and reloading all the chains. We hope you liked the video and we'd love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to the channel and share this with your friends on social media.